They'll be like, oh, that's, that's weird. <laughs> Do you worry sometimes too? Like not getting good grades or how to fit in your circle of friends? When Jesus saw all the people, his heart was filled with love for them. They were like a little flock of sheep that didn't have a shepherd to take care of them. Three, two, one. Welcome to Children's Church. I'm Nicole. Ta-da! Look, I'm busy cooking today. Do you know what I'm making? Yes, it's something we've been talking about for the past five weeks. Yes, right. The hamburger. We learnt about how God's people stay happy using a hamburger every week. So today I decided to make burgers for my friends to share the happiness I have in God. Before I start making a burger, let's go through what we learned so far. The first filling we looked at was the tomato. T is for tomato and T is for... That's right! Thankfulness! Happy people are thankful to God and people around. The second filling was lettuce. L is for lettuce and L is for love. Happy people receive love and give love to others. The third filling was the fried egg. F is for fried egg and F is for forgiving. Happy people are forgiving. And then the next filling was the pickle. P is for pickle and P is for positive. Happy people are positive. Now the last ingredient we had was beef patty. B is for beef patty and B is for be kind, not judgmental towards others. Happy people are kind, not judgmental. Good job remembering. Well done, all of you. Talking about all the fillings is making me hungry. Oh, I better start making the burger. Mm. First, I'll need to slice a tomato. Oh, but the tomato skin looks too soft and slippery. It looks a bit hard to cut in slices. What if, what if I hurt my finger? What if I bleed too much and the ambulance has to take me to the hospital? What if I have to stay in hospital my whole life? Oh, I don't think I can do this. Hmm, I'll try the lettuce instead. Wait, but what if there's still pesticide on the leaf? gives me a tummy ache. I better not use this. Okay, I'll make the fried egg first. Wait, what if there's a baby chick inside the egg? Ew! Forget it, forget it. Well, I'll just, I'll just have to have the beef patty then. It would still be a good burger. Right, let me cook the patty. But what if the fire on the cooker goes wrong? What if the flame becomes really big and then it burns everything here and the whole place down? Oh no, I can't do this. My plan was to enjoy the full taste of the burger with every filling. But look at me now. Worry doesn't help with anything. Now I'm not happy anymore. Do you worry sometimes too? Like not getting good grades or how to fit in your circle of friends or making a mistake in a football match. We easily worry about little things and big things. When you worry, you can't fully enjoy your life that God gives you. Just like how I can't enjoy the full taste of the burger. But God doesn't want us to worry about anything. And how do I know this? Because the Bible says so. It's from Matthew chapter 6. Let's hear what Jesus says about worrying.
Wherever Jesus went, lots of people went too. They loved being near him. Old people, young people, sick people, happy people, sad people and worried people worrying about lots of things. What if we don't have enough food or clothes and everything goes wrong or, or bad things happen? When Jesus saw all the people, his heart was filled with love for them. They were like a little flock of sheep that didn't have a shepherd to take care of them. So Jesus sat them all down and he talked to them. Don't worry about whether you have enough food and drink or enough clothes to wear, he said. There are more important things in life than food and clothes. Then he went on to teach them a lesson about worry. Look at the birds in the air, Jesus said. Everyone looked. Little birds are on the branches of the tree with fruits all around. They don't worry about where their next meal is coming from. They don't store up grain in barns. And yet the Heavenly Father knows what they need and he feeds them. Surely you are worth more to him than a bird. And what about these wild flowers? Everyone looked. All around them flowers were growing. Where do they get their lovely clothes? Do they make them? No, Jesus said. They don't need to worry about that because God clothes them beautifully that even the king's robes couldn't compare to theirs. If God cares so wonderfully for these wild flowers, surely he will take care of you. Jesus continued, you are more important than birds, more important than flowers, and he loves you and surely looks after you too. Why do you show your lack of faith by worrying about these things? So don't worry asking what will we eat or what will we drink or what will we wear as your heavenly father knows that you need them. But above all, pursue his kingdom and righteousness and all these things will be given to you as well. Jesus knew that God would always love and watch over the world he made, everything in it, birds, flowers, trees, animals, and most of all, his children. We are worth more than all the rest of creation. God knows what we need more than we ourselves know. He is our Father. Everything that we need comes from him. This Bible story has really encouraged me not to worry about things around me. Instead, I should trust in him and seek God first in my life and he will take care of me. Look, ta-da! I prayed to God to help me cook without worry. When I put my trust in God, it gave me peace in my heart and I was able to enjoy the cooking. Now I can make more burgers for my friends. I'm so happy! Remember, happy people don't worry. Let's worship.
God loves us so much that he takes care of us and provides for us what we need. But when worry kicks in, you won't be able to enjoy what God provides for you. It will even keep you from living the life that God wants you to live. Just like me today, I was so worried about the bad things that could happen before I made the burger. Although God provided all these tasty fillings for me, I couldn't enjoy them or do anything. Worry itself is not helpful, and when you put your trust in God and step up, you can enjoy God's provision and live your life in fullness of God, just like how I can enjoy this burger. Happy people don't worry, instead they pray and worship God. Do not be anxious about anything, but in everything, by prayer and supplication, with thanksgiving, let your requests be made known to God. Philippians chapter 4 verse 6. So don't worry about things. We should remember to trust God and put God first in our life and he will take care of you. Let's pray. Dear Heavenly Father, we thank you for reminding us that you are here with us and that you will provide all things that we need. Teach us how not to worry and instead to trust in you alone. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Now, thanks for joining us this week. We'll see you next time. Bye. Mmm.